vazia, tá fazendo errado por cima da pica, a sua puta, tá vazia, tá fazendo errado por cima da pica, a sua puta, a rádio, tá fazendo errado por cima da pica, a sua puta, a rádio, tá fazendo errado por cima da pica, a sua puta, a rádio. barely holding it. If I take a mallet and I hit the handle like this, will the potato drop? Let's check. <laughs> Love it. Look, the blade went deeper and deeper through the potato because the potato is inertia. It didn't have time to move. It did not move every time when I hit the handle. Now, safety issue. When you decide to remove this potato from the knife, don't touch the knife. Higher, didn't make it. Go a little higher, didn't make it. Go a little higher, still didn't make it. Times the radius, conservation of mechanical energy tells you that that is the minimum it takes to just go through that point. So if I release it all the way here, you will not expect it that it will... Oh, it made it somewhere to here. It's a little lower than that level, because there is some... No freaking shot. What I have here is just a really strong neodymium magnet, and a while ago I decided to see what would happen if I blasted it with a blowtorch. It honestly didn't look like it did very much, but what was interesting was that once it had cooled down, it was no longer a magnet, and it was just a heavy piece of junk. This was all just an excuse, though, to test out this really expensive and kind of scary machine that I ordered from China. In theory, it was supposed to be able to revive the magnet, and I just had to wait for it to charge up to 2,000 volts. Then after that, I just put this cloth thing over this other thing, shoved my little cube into the hole, and when I was ready, I clicked the button. After that, I pulled it out, and inside, it still looked exactly the same, but this time, when I tested it, there was definitely a big difference. Oh my god. In fact, it was somehow even stronger than when I started. This is my new personal record for most plungies on one time. Trick shot for you, Carl's Jr.
Ava, why? Dr. Norton, you're looking very handsome this evening. Oh, thank you. You're looking especially beautiful tonight yourself, Ava. Oh, Dr. Heinemann, may you rest in peace. Amen. <laughs> Father! <laughs> Ava, Ava, I know it's difficult, but please, try to hold yourself... Don't touch me! Give me my father back! I want him back! I want him back! I'm sorry for calling you out of the blue, but I'd heard you'd been appointed Chief of Surgery. I'm truly happy for you. Thank you, Ava. Kenzo, that day at my father's funeral... I remember you were trying to comfort me, weren't you? Ah, uh, wow. It made me happy. A lot of things happened between us, but I'd like to start over. Yeah, you're just spoiled. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get the spoiled girl, dude. Because you're raped, you can't do that. It's not fair for everybody else who actually has a handicap. It's funny for people to do this. Huh? It's funny that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Show him handicap. I'll show yeah, him handicap. You'll see. You'll see. This is what you get. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's get this off. Get this off. Clean up. Yeah, clean up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh.
If there is anybody here who objects today to this wedding, please speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay. That's what I thought. Da vazia, da mexer da casa, da pusi, da pica, da sua puta. 